Welcome to my channel Mixed Media and More. I'm Beo and I'm glad you found me. I did it again. A witch apothecary in a tin. I love those altered tins. I want to make more. Also, I don't really know what to do when they are finished. They are just so fun to make. And just for fun, I will put an eye card in the upper corner for a sewing studio themed altered tin. Before I started painting, I did prepare some wallpapers from patterned papers. I prepared the tin first with two layers of gesso on the out and the inside. And just so you know, I did speed up the video and did edit out quite a bit. Also, I didn't film all the time, I had over two hours film material. Next, I started the inside with acrylic paint in several orange, brown and green shades. I did use the sponge double to get a grainy structure. When the base coat was done, I added some metallic pewter color paint in some of the areas. To hang the tin onto a wall, I make a hole in the back side so that I can attach later a finding. I did use the same kind of colors for the outside of the tin. Time to add some wallpapers. Also, I have made a template. I had to fiddle a bit to get the papers flat into their spot. Here I'm testing the shelves. The long one is a part from a ruler and the other is a domino tile. To attach the shelves, I use a two-part quick-dry epoxy, which I mix until it has a uniform color. I had these leftovers from a graphic 45 paper, 
with some bottles in it and I did use them in the background to give a little more interest. I'm going through the back side of the tin with a skull bread. I'm gonna use the prongs to attach the hanging finding. In my stash I had some cheesecloth already in the appropriate colors. I snipped some off and placed it in several spots. I did spread around some glossy accents to add 10 tiny glass beads. I'm gonna have bottles in my witch apothecary, but I need also labels for them. I made them with some tissue paper and a script stamp. Some of the bottles were pre-made, some I made myself from beads and head pins. Every witch has their books. I made them simply with scraps from corrugated cardboard and patterned paper. I also did stamp some title on the covers which stays on ink again.
For the big book, I did score some lines to give room for a wide spine. The books just looked a bit too neat, so I had to distress them. I also added to the big book a key. I did use a stamp and die set to make a picture frame. And to give the frame a little bit more dimension, I glued together several die cuts. The top layer die cut I did heat emboss. I had this image in my stash and I think it fits perfectly, also it has an oval shape. Time to assemble the whole apothecary. To lift up the frame a bit, I have used the same cardboard as for the box. Here I'm adding a skeleton which comes from the bead section. Next I'm mounting a crystal ball, no witch without one. I made it from a larger bead, a bead cap and again a pinhead. Witch and cat go well together. So here I come with a cat's head.
time to fill the left side with bottles, books and a skull with glowing red eyes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share. I really appreciate it. And by the way, there will be a close-up picture at the end.